In this video, I'm going to show you another way to work with text boxes and images on documents. So in a previous video, I made a, a custom shape, which is a, a good static shape that you can create for a text box. In this one, I'm going to show a bit more of a dynamic um, text box with where you can move the pictures around a little bit. So here's a document I've been working on. I've got a rectangular image and a nice little gap and then I've got a circular picture frame image and the text actually curves around. So I'm fairly happy with the functionality of this uh, particular thing. You can see it moves dynamically. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how I did that. It's very simple. So I've got my text and you can see it's actually over the top of the photograph or the, the painting and um, it's just because it's in the layers. You see now I've got it in front, but in order for that to fit, I would have to move it all around and I would lose the ability to, you know, shift it around wherever I like. So in order to get them to interact, all we need to do is just select the uh, text on the, on the layer bar and the image, and then go up to the text wrapping settings and select the one you like. So for me, I'll do tight and we'll see how it looks. And you can see once I select the picture, it's moving around. So I'll make it a bit smaller. Now you can see it can get a bit strange looking on the right there. You'll see the text is spreading out. That's it's justifying by default and that just helps it to really fit the lettering in and everything in, in, the, in odd shapes. So it will justify the text, but if you just play around, you'll, you'll find a, uh, a solution. There's lots of options as well. If we go back up to the text settings, you'll see you can add a gap to the bottom and the uh, sides. So I can make that gap bigger or smaller. Sometimes it defaults to a almost touching, which is a bit unneat. So that's something you can play around with. I'll show you the round uh, picture frame and the way it works and sometimes it defaults to this strange large rectangular image if we look at the actual image inside the picture frame we'll actually be able to see that it's the the shape that it's avoiding is the the actual image shape so what you can do is you can click on settings go up to the settings and actually fix this by doing the same thing tight and you'll see down here where it says distance from text. It actually, for some reason, I've got it set to 14 millimeters, so I can actually change that to what I like. And I generally do them all probably the same. But you can see, if you play around with the top and bottom, you'll be able to bring the bring those words a bit closer together. So that's the another way to use text boxes that's fairly simple. I hope this helps.